Swim for authentication lesson 23, setting up the ability to email users. So to get started, we're gonna require two packages. First is going to be the Swift mailer. And the second one is going to actually be this Guzzle HTTP. And here we'll go to a new, new tab to uh, require that. That's gonna be composer require and then guzzle http slash guzzle. Guzzle http slash guzzle. There we go. All right. So while those are installing, we're going to create a new mail config file. Then this, just like usual, we're going to return an array. Now we're going to return several things in this uh, mailer. So we're going to do driver. And that's going to be the ENV mail driver, or we're going to default SMTP. We're going to do host. Again, that's going to be ENV mail host. We're going to default to SMTP.mailgun.org. Then we're going to do port, and that's going to be ENV mail port 587. After port, we're going to do from. And that's going to be address. And that's going to be env mail from address or default to from at example.com. Then we're going to do name, and that's going to be env mail from name or from example. Then we're going to simply copy that from, and we're going to make a two. And we're almost there, guys. There's a lot of settings for the mail, but once we set them here, it'll all be, all be easier. And of course, within two, we need to replace the from to two, and then mail from name to mail to name, we're gonna do to example. After that, we're gonna do username. That's gonna be env mail username with no default. Same thing with password, env, that's gonna be mail password with no default. Finally, we're going to say markdown and then we're going to say our theme will be the default and then the paths we'll use will be resources path and then views slash mail and then we probably won't actually set this up but if we want to log our emails via channel Swiffer which we will be using does offer the ability to define a log channel. All right, so once we get this set up, the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our .env.example. Within our .env.example, I'm gonna copy these over. It's gonna be mail driver, mail host, mail port, mail username, and mail password. These are gonna be our email um, environment settings. Locally, we'll use mail trap, which will be our next tutorial, setting up MailTrap to test or send emails locally. Um, free account, free everything, pretty cool setup. Uh, the one thing I do want to confirm is within my mail, did I add encryption? Okay, I did not add encryption. So within encryption, what we wanna do is we wanna do encryption, and then we want to say env mail encryption or default to TLS, just like that, okay. So with all of that set up and with our composer um, requirements installed or dependencies installed, we are good to get started. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to go to Bootstrap Foundation Bootstrappers. We wanna add a new Bootstrapper. This is gonna be load mailable. Again, we are going to extend Bootstrapper, of course, and we're going to say public function boot. After that, we are going to need to require four imports. And these imports are going to be Swift imports. But actually, it's going to be five imports. They're going to be Swift imports and then our imports. So as you can see, we have Swift mailer as mailer, Swift messenger as email, and Swift SMTP import as email transport. Then we have our own foundation mail, mailable setup. So let's create that class. We're gonna say 
Bootstrap Foundation Mail. And then we're going to say new PHP class is going to be mailable. All right. So that load bootstrapper, the whole purpose of it is to really create our mailable class. So mailable is going to have three main dependencies. It's going to be protected view, aka blade, protected email, and protected mailer. Then we are going to say, okay, the construct for our mailable is going to be mailer which again, we're going to need to use Swift Mailer as Mailer, use Swift Message as Email, and then we're going to use Yin Sega's Blade Blade, and we use that as Blade. So the first one is we're going to say Mailer Mailer, then we're going to say Email Email, and then Blade View. We're just going to say, okay, Ooh. this view equals view, this email equals email, and this mailer equals mailer. We're going to add several helper functions or methods, but the two most important are the construct and then send. What does send do? Well, it's going to say this mailer send this email and there's actually another very important one that's going to be the view or say public function view we'll say path width and we'll simply say template equals this view make path width and then render and just like we've done so many times we'll create a view template and then we'll say this email add part template but the type will be text slash HTML, and then we'll return this. All right, so these are the three most important functions. The rest of these will be helper functions that allow us to mutate or update our email via a Fluent API. So that is gonna be the rest. And so all these are gonna do, they're just gonna say, okay, method set something on email or this email set something and then they're going to return this so i'm going to add those in right now this is as always on github the link will be in the description so i'm going to add all of those right now and that's just going to be these Whoop. i said not copy those right here we go all right, and so with these, the only other one I'm going to want to add is, let's just get rid of that right now, keep the view at the bottom, is two. So I'm going to want to add two. So to add two, all we need to do is say, okay, two address set two, just like that. And we will do a some cleanup and la la. We have a constructor, we have a fluent API for configuring our email, and then we have the ability to send our email. So this means the only thing we have left to do is to build our mailer and build our default email and then build our blade template. We'll do this in the load mailable. So within load mailable, what we need to do is we need to first build, first we need to get our config settings. So that's gonna be mail config mail. After that, we need to build or bind our email transporter. So that's gonna be email transport class. And then that is going to be function. And then it's going to be new email transport mail host and then mail port, just like that. Okay, so once we have that part set up, we need to add the username, which is gonna be mail username. After that, we're gonna say set password, mail password, and our email transport is set up. 
After the email transport, we need to set up our mailer itself. So this is going to be the mailer class. And this is going to be a pretty simple one. It's going to be, it's going to resolve the email transporter that we have already binded to our container. And then it's going to say new mailer transport. Just like that. Good to go. All right, so after that's set up, the next one we need to add is the email. We want to bind a default email to our container. So this is probably going to be the biggest one, I would assume, because we just have to set all the default settings. So first, we're going to say new email. We're going to say default subject. And then we're going to say set to. And we're going to do mail to address, just like that. All right. And then we're going to do mail to name. So we're going to do set from. And then it's going to be mail from address. And then it's going to be mail from name. Just like that, close out that array. Start it off with an array, and we are good to go. So we're going to do set body, and then we're going to say hello world. That's going to be our default body. OK. So now we are good to go there. So now, with that set up, yep, the, that leaves us with one more thing to set up. And that is our own mailable. So that's going to be this app bind mailable class. We're going to say function mailer mailer. So first we're going to resolve our mailer. Then we're going to resolve our email. And then we're going to resolve our blade, our Yesinger's blade um, template or compiling engine. And then we're going to say new mailable, boot foundation mail mailable. We're going to say mailer email blade just like that and we should be good to go so once we have this set up hoping it all works and we don't have any typos and all that we should be good to just register it to our console kernel and our HTTP kernel where are we going to register it though right like in the kernel how we register the order on which we register does matter unlike uh, how service sh providers should be set up well we need our blade template. So let's just add it right after blade. Bootstrappers load mailable class. Just like that. Then we'll go to our console kernel in case we want to email via console command. And we'll add it also right after load blade templates. OK, so what we're going to do next is we're actually going to do this. We're going to do route and then get slash test function. And then we're going to do mailable mail and we should just be able to do successful equals mail sent and then we should be able to just do da 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 response we're gonna do response get body and then write uh, successfully sent email successful and then return response but here's the problem we have nowhere where we're sending it to so in our .env.example what we'll need to do and I'll show you my guys's encryption stuff is we're going to need to set up our mail trap stuff and this is the next tutorial you guys will not get this I'm not 100% sure what area you will get but if you guys try to hit this successful mail send, it won't work right. Um, and it's because you have not set up your free mail trap account yet. So here's what's going to happen. Personally, I, and I was testing a little bit behind the scenes, is when I hit mail trap, I'll get this. So if I go to test, successfully sent email. And if I reload it, I get this default subject, HTML, hello world. So you guys are not able to do that yet, but just to prove what we just set up does work, we just need to set up the second part of it, which is to allow testing via mail trap. Um, 
So that is what we'll do in the next video. We will set up MailTrap and set up the ability to catch our locally sent emails. See you guys next time. Simple.